Hi everyone, it's Alyssa again. Um, I wanted to do another update. I just um, uploaded another video and I actually was able to find the video that I did my first Sky Rizzy from, the one that I mentioned to you guys that I messed up and just it wouldn't upload. Um, so I was able to, I'm getting a little tech savvy, um, and I was able to find the video upload it to something else and upload it. So um, you're able to see the kind of frick up that I do um, and see kind of <clears throat> what it's going to look like. It's gonna look better, but what it's going to look like next Wednesday. Um, I know that there's some of us getting their first SkyRizzy injections today, so good luck to you. Don't take that video um, as, um, you know, that it's gonna be painful or you're gonna have the flushing. I did not leave it out for 45 minutes. I only left it out for 30. So that could have been the reason for the burning. Um, the flushing that I did have, um, I had with the Humira also. So it could just be me. Um, you know, I don't see any, you know, when I talked to my nurse, no one else had ever had, ever had the flush kind of thing. Um, so don't worry about that, okay? Um, and good luck in your shot today. Um, you know who I'm talking about. So that's really great, I'm happy for you, but don't take that other video as a, um, as a you know, everyone's gonna have that. Um, I also wanted to show, and again, um, please subscribe if you wanna continue watching this, you know, the Sky Rizzy updates or just me blabbing about psoriasis. Um, but, and I don't have any sponsors, so I guess after watching a lot of videos, I wanted to just say that. Everything that I show you guys that I use, um, I uh, have my wound care certification and um, in my old job was um, a wound care, home, home, home care nurse. Um, so I kind of picked up this stuff along the way, stuff that we used. Um, you can buy this over the counter um, at CVS. Um, this one I'm not so sure about. This one I had extra in my car. Um, and have been using it all along. It's almost like if you don't have this, um, it's almost like a desitin. And this um, calmiceptine ointment you can use um, for people that have, it's like a calamine lotion, but it also has zinc in it. So people that have poison ivy, poison anything like that, we used it um, on like diaper rash um, or excoriated, you know, macerated areas from uh, people that were incontinent or you know, couldn't hold their own bladder, so things like that. So for the areas that I always kind of, well, that I have the breakout again right now, um, and I'll get a little bit graphic, but I won't get down and dirty. It's my left buttock and kind of my inner thighs and areas around there. So when they first start, they weep a little bit and they're sore and you want to go commando because it's painful to wear underwear. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Alyssa, you're always smiling. You're always smiling. I have to or I'm going to cry, and I'm so sick of crying, guys. So this is more of informative. If anyone else out there has these areas and you're like, oh, my God, what can I do? What can I do to soothe the itching, to soothe the pain, anything like that? So I use a little bit of these together. Um, I'll show you what they look like. It's kind of like a, a thick paste you know, so you don't need a whole lot of it. I already applied, I'm not gonna show you that guys. Um, and then this one is the same thing, but it's a little bit pink, like the calamine lotion. So I dab both of them a little bit together. I make a paste and then kind of pat it on those areas and it provides a barrier. So when you're oozing, you're not getting your other skin wet or, um, you know, you don't want it anywhere else. And it, and it comes out in the wash, it's super easy. Like it's it's not staining. The calmiceptine, you know, um, <laughs> I was desperate enough to use it like all over my legs and my face at one point. And I'm just like, I'm not going outside the house anyway. Um, but it soothes that and it does dry the area just a little bit. And just to know that when you are showering or taking a bath, it leaves a thin little barrier. So you're not gonna try and scrub it off and make yourself bleed. That white that white little paste will kind of um, provide that little area and will build up so that you're not feeling <clears throat> moist, moist. Um, so that that's just a little thing of, of that. Um, and then I'm going to use the, um, I'm sorry, not the Instalar. I actually, 
Um, I'm not going to use the Ed Star. It's make you know it. It's only <clears throat> it makes your your skin really really thin. So um, you know areas that, as you know, like I, I don't know if any of you know this, but with wounds, you know, you get a cut or a scrape or a big gash, right? So those that area now is for the rest of your life that's like only 80% healed, right? So if this area opens again. Now, you know, it heals, your skin is super thin, but now you're like 60% healed. So it's easier for that area to open up. Um, so like with the areas that kind of I've had, like where you have an area is where it kind of exposes again. So, you know, the if you're, even simple things, as I said, like sitting, or you know, when I get out of bed, I kind of slide to the end of the bed because I'm kind of against the wall a little bit. Um, can't do that, and you and you, you're so used to doing it that you do it, and you're like, oh my god, what did I just do? And you're like, wah. Um, but the baths um, also that you can get at CVS anywhere. I know, I know that Calmeseptin you can't get at CVS yet, but Walgreens has it over the counter. Um, and then this stuff, like I said, it might be, it might be over the counter yet, but if you don't have it, it's just simple, you know, get like a desitin, um, and that might help those of us who have a trouble, um, sitting. Where was I going? Walgreens sitting. Oh, the oatmeal baths. Um, I use everything baby now. So everything that's like PABA free, sulfate free, everything. And I might be re-talking and re-explaining this to you guys who have been watching the videos but I know there's some new people um so just things like that um the oatmeal bath the Aveeno oatmeal baths um in a cool kind of tepid almost warm cool water that always helps um soothe everything you know um the salt water also heals so if you can get yourself into an ocean um, do that if you can get yourself out. I mean, who? <laughs> nobody wants to see. I wear shorts um, when I do have a breakout. I just wear shorts. I, you know, it hurts to wear a bathing suit bottom or anything like that. So I just wear shorts. Um, and then my boyfriend stands behind me with a towel, and I just drop trout, put new shorts on, and then I'm good. So at least I'm dry in, in that that you're not keeping that wet. Um, wet shorts on you for those of you that are embarrassed. I know when I get it in those areas, I'm embarrassed and I just want to wear shorts. Um, so things like that, but that's kind of it. Um, Sky Rizzy will come. That video that I just uploaded was from three weeks ago where I messed up, like I said. So don't take that as, as a, um, don't take that as like everyone's going to get that. You know, I'm when I get it next week, I'm going to leave it out longer We'll go through it. I won't be fumbling. I have already read the directions, whereas this video, I just was like, what? Didn't read it. Didn't even realize I had to do the second shot. So only the first shot is in the video. Um, but really, it was just for, I know those of you that are getting your shots today, good luck. Don't worry. I think I answered you in your post before. Um, but good luck and have a great day. And um Keep, keep uh, staying positive because if you don't smile, you're going to cry. Nobody wants cry lines on their faces. Okay? Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching as always. Bye-bye.